this drive was very long. And we're finally here. And I'm grumpy AF. <laughs> Can you not? Can you not? She drove a long time. Why she turned the camera on? Nine time chats. It's in the here. Kevin is right. That's because I'm looking at you. Okay, I'm my best view. <laughs> We've driven for a very long time these last two days. Total of 19 hours of driving. <sighs> so I creepy. just want to have a good sleep. Yeah, we both slept really bad. <sighs> Three more camping nights only. But then we get to sleep in our bed. Use our bathroom. Take a bath. <sighs> Sounds lovely. And have dim sum. <laughs> I know. Okay. Okay, night. Sleep, sleep. <sighs> It's 
finally starting to warm up a little bit. It was cold this morning. It was cold last night, but it's good now. It's only a four hour drive to our destination today, which means we've got a little bit more time to relax and take our time to cook breakfast, make some coffee, pack up the tents, um, and then take a leisurely drive to our next destination. We're nearing the end of our trip. Three more days, three more nights? Three more nights, I think. We get back to Toronto on Sunday, September 13. It's been a great journey, great experience. Learned a lot of new things. Learned things about myself I didn't know I could do. I really enjoyed it. Thank you, wife. Thank you, Steph's wife. <laughs> I'd like to think that we've become like camping pros. Oh, we are camping pros. Right? At least that's what I'm telling everyone. People are asking <laughs> me for advice. Really? So I was like, <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. What a beautiful day. Who, me? I know. <laughs> beautiful gay. A beautiful gay. It's a beautiful gay in the neighborhood. I am now home. I have arrived. <laughs> Any spiders? <laughs> um. <laughs> it's actually pretty awesome. Yeah. We're getting to the end of it, Marcus. We are. I'm sad. Three more nights, right? I'm a sad panda. Hmm. Obviously, we knew it was going to come to an end at some point, but this was absolutely beautiful. I feel like after doing this, I could survive at least three days longer <laughs> in the wild. <laughs> We're super lucky we drove two kilometers to get firewood. <laughs> and they showed up at the most kick-ass place in the province in the middle of nowhere it's at cold. the Big White Shell Lodge. Can I swear on this? Oh, yes, yeah. you can. I fucking big swear all the time. Big motherfucking White Shell Lodge. <laughs> Not just Big White Shell Lodge. Big motherfucking White Shell Lodge. Y'all gotta motherfucking come here. Y yep. <laughs> here we are. Ta-da! Hey, wife. Yes. What'd you make for dinner? It's like a spaghetti chili. Is it gonna be good? Gourmet it's... camp food? I mean, is my food ever bad? Never. Okay. <laughs> Can we just say and acknowledge for a moment that you, Marcus, and I, we started a fire. Yes, yes we can. <laughs> Not only did we go and get some firewood, 
we started this fire. We're like Obama. Yes, we can. <laughs> yes, we can. When I was about 18, 19, I was ap applying to work at a retirement home. I was interviewing and I was sitting and I was listening to two residents. And the one woman was saying to the other woman, she goes, you know, one of the things that I regret, regret most in life is the fact that I was always trying to leave Canada. I was always trying to visit other countries. And I never took the time to actually explore the place that I called home. And something about that story resonated with me because I'm like, I never want to get to the end of my life and feel like the place that I called home, I never respected or explored or, you know, took the time to go on an adventure and um, understand it and to make it my own. And um, this whole experience has been amazing. I think it was wonderful to see Canada in all of its natural beauty. Um, and I'm really actually happy that I sat there and I listened for those few moments because I might have not had this experience or thought to do something like this. Um, great experience, love it. Tell your friends. <laughs> <laughs> it has been very, very eventful. Um, I don't want it to end. Not that I don't want to sleep on my own bed. <laughs> <laughs> You know this whole thing about me burning spiders, I think it's retribution. I was gonna say, right? it's, it's coming back to haunt you. Yeah, seriously. Anyways, um, I absolutely would do this again. So to everyone that has said to me, you're gonna love camping, Steph. Fuck you, you're right. <laughs> as long as I do it with Kim. And Marcus. But I mean Kim. Primarily. I got a big stick here. <laughs> <laughs> and fire. I can light it on fire. Um... No, so reflections, this was one of those, this wasn't an originally planned trip. It was something we kind of did a little spur of the moment and then obviously did some planning to get to it. But um, it's not something I ever thought I would do in this way. I've definitely always wanted to do a road trip, um, kind of cross country. So we were given the chance due to the world at large and what's going on, it kind of forced us to do an at home trip. Um, but I'm very grateful for the opportunity because it isn't very often that you have a chance to do this and actually camp across country. And we are the type of people, myself especially, that does generally travel away from home to like the Caribbean or somewhere else. I want to experience some other culture. Granted, Canada isn't my home originally, but it does feel like my home now. Um, so getting a chance to actually appreciate it, see different provinces, and also it sparked a little bit of interest in potentially living in other areas as well. Um, I think it's been an amazing trip to get to experience and see the ins and outs of every province. And you always hear kind of hard things about other provinces, but I think this trip enabled us to see the beauty in those provinces, regardless of all the other different structures of complications within them, I guess would be the best way of putting it. So yeah, that's it. Great trip. Oh, so many stars. So pretty. Shine bright like a diamond. So many satellites. <laughs> Rogers? Bell? AT&T? <laughs> Google? Right. <laughs> Apple? <laughs> Microsoft? Bill? <laughs> Jesus? And you know what Elon? I have to say to this, though? Yeah. What? what? Good night, you beautiful bitches. <laughs> Still haven't found a freaking moose, um, which is kind of sad, but that's okay. Um, I'm, I'm still hopeful that in our three days left that we will find a freaking moose, and if we don't, that's okay. <laughs>